Me, 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 me. All right, we're live. Excellent. Welcome to paraglidingtalk.com. I'm your host, Robert Michaels. Glad you're here. We got a great show tonight lined up. We got Max Acro, maxacro.com. Uh, Max Marion, a once world record holder for Infinite Tumble, and uh, just a, a really good and just an incredible instructor here in sunny Southern California. He uh, does SIV, SIV clinics here in, uh, in Southern California and then also abroad. And uh, he's got a new paragliding school here in San Diego. And uh, we'll put some links in the description. We'll talk a little bit about that tonight. So I'm super stoked that he's here. Uh, welcome. If you're first time, if you're just joining the show for the first time, lots of visitors coming in. Uh, if you haven't done it yet, hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you uh, like the video and click the bell if you want to get the alert 30 minutes before we go live on paraglidingtalk.com. Uh, so super glad that you're here. Uh, also want to direct you to the website paraglidingtalk.com and check out some of the previous episodes. Also, if you'd like to be a Patreon supporter, you can do that. Follow the links in the description for the price of a cup of coffee. You will learn something possibly that will save you from breaking yourself or even saving your life or your friends. And uh, it's a great thing to support your flying community. So do that right away. Patreon, PayPal, links in the description. I want to mention a couple of the sponsors real quick. Uh, Harley Milne runs a school in Southern California here. It's called dreamlifterparamotors.com. If you want to up your game, you want to become a better pilot paramotoring, you want to take your adventures abroad. He uh, was a record world record holder for flying coast to coast across the United States from San Diego to Florida. He also flew in all 50 states and has a wealth of knowledge when it comes to instruction. Go check out his website, dreamlifterparamotors.com. Also want to give a quick shout out to PPG Smoke. Maybe you want to add a smoke machine to your paramotor. That's the place to do it, ppgsmoke.com. And if I can also mention paramotorprops.com. You break a prop, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Paramotorprops.com is the website. They'll get you a new setup very quickly. So Max, you're probably wondering what's happening here. Max is in Vegas and uh, what he's doing, he's breaking ground now in Vegas. Uh, he's searching the streets right now, trying to find any kind of paragliding person that he can find. And then once we find them, no, I'm just kidding. We're not doing that. He's just in Vegas. And he, I asked him to come on the show and he said, yes. <laughs> It's so awesome. I I love the idea. Yeah, guys. I am walking the uh, Vegas Strip right now across the street from the Bellagio. Water show is going off right there. Oh, that's awesome. Amazing. Good times. Good times. <laughs> yeah. So Max has some great new stuff happening. It, it seems like Max is always on some kind of a cutting edge with whatever's going on in the paragliding community. Uh, but I want to highlight first, you're starting a new school here in San Diego. Uh, talk about how your background will contribute to the instructor pool here in San Diego. So I have uh, a lot of experience in, in paragliding and in teaching people flying. Um, you know, I could say that I started flying when I was 12. So that was 2000, now I'm 25, uh, well, almost 25 years, sorry, 23 years. Ago. And, uh, you know, it's, um, it's an incredible sport that I have been my entire life and career. I've been doing this since I was young. I actually used to fly kiting, uh, really, when, uh, when I was 15 years old. So I have a, a ton of experience, and uh, and I really enjoy teaching uh, at that newer level. You know, I've, I've had times uh, on and off throughout the years where I've, I've taught pilots at the beginner level as well as the, you know, SIV and advanced uh, level. And uh, I would say the, the thing that I like most about it 
is getting the three uh, that you know the, the uh, discovery that people find when they take their first flight when they have a new experience like they do the first SIC. On that note, you know, since uh, since that comes up, um, uh, in uh, in uh, in in the fall, uh, for my last SIV of the year, I would like to host an all ladies uh, clinic. All ladies SIV clinic. So if you are a, a woman pilot in the industry looking to further your skills, um, I'm going to be hosting uh, all ladies clinic with the help of my lovely wife, Ms. Cheyenne Abel. She's, by the way, a co owner co owner of Max Acro and the one who really makes oh, all the magic happen on the on the back end. You know, a lot of times if you message or email or uh, correspond to the website. This is who you're actually talking to right here, my lovely wife, Miss Cheyenne. So um, today we're celebrating Cheyenne's uh, 10 year anniversary of, uh, of being alcohol free. So she has been alcohol free for 10 years. So congratulations, babe. Thank you. And we're- That we're is just, awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, congratulations, uh, 10 years. Thanks. Really good job. <laughs> Now you uh, have to go through Sin City and endure all the temptation that's all around you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 10 years, you got this. I, I'm personally um, on about two years now. Two, so no I, kidding. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Quite a, quite a change up for me. It's, it's, been, it's been really cool to, to just not have the hangovers. You know, oh, yeah. Um, I, I drove until about 3 a.m. this morning uh, from, from Colorado yesterday, and I woke up today feeling a little bit like hungover from, you know, just like being up so late and a little dehydrated. And uh, that was that was like, oh, yeah, this is what I'm missing. This is, uh, this is what I left behind. So, yeah, it's been, it's been good. That's awesome. Congratulations on two years, man. That's that's a feat, too. Yeah, thanks. Where where are you guys at right now? Uh, we're crossing the bridge across Vegas Boulevard, right by Bellagio. Yep, Bellagio Caesars. There you go. The Vegas Strip. Oh, that's awesome. So I just typed in the chat, but I, if if you're watching tonight, uh, we're doing a little participation thing here. So if, if you're able to put in the chat, uh, we want you to come up with a name for the SIV clinic that's going to be all ladies SIV clinic. Um, so put your uh, you put your idea in the chat. We'll narrow it down to four and then we'll take a poll. So put your names down in there in the chat if you can. So, Max, let's talk about uh, your scholarship program. Uh, you talked about a little bit pre-show. You're calling it Young Guns. Let's talk about how that's going to work. So the uh, there is a Young Guns scholarship, and this year we had, I believe, uh, five applicants. Was it six? Six applicants. So we've selected uh, a young individual uh, to receive the the scholarship for uh, this year. We'll we'll announce it on the first. Uh, who who the winner is. But basically, the scholarship is to help promote young uh, pilots in the industry that are looking to uh, basically become instructors or, or further themselves in in training. So I'm basically offering all of the clinics and all of the training that I do uh, up to ten thousand dollars worth of uh, instruction for free to to someone under twenty five. Wow. I was just gonna j try to s get my throw my hat in the ring, but twenty five. I'm, I'm just a year or two past that. <laughs> just barely missed the cutoff on that one. I mean, you you know, if you would have applied last year, you would have been yeah. right in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> would have would have just made it in there. <laughs> 
Hot Buttered Steve donated $10 to the Super Chat. He said, my doctor said I was an alcoholic. I asked why. He said, your sample had an olive in it. And then he did a blood draw and ran a tab. Thanks for that contribution, Hot Butter Steve. I appreciate that. I, um, hey, could I, um, I could just say, since I'm in Vegas, you know, I kind of had an idea here. Um, since we have this whole chat donation thing going on, uh, I'd like to match whatever you guys donate to the chat tonight and throw it all on one spin of roulette and uh, either go black, red, or green depending on what you guys vote. So if you want to see how that goes down, throw uh, throw some money to the chat. I'll match it here in Vegas and throw it either on red, uh, red, black, or green. I'm putting the poll in the chat right now. There you go. Let's, <laughs> see, let's see what we can get for that one. That, that'll be fun. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Max is going to bet matching the super chat tonight. What should he bet? Red or black? Start the poll. Oh no. Oh my gosh, someone donated $50 wow. right out of the gate. Oh, no. $50. Nebraska Paramotor. Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> Nebraska <yeah>. PBG. <laughs> That's Josh Bowden. He's so cold. I told you someone's <laughs> going to start to go nuts. Oh, it's no. Get, get big. Right. We, there is a cap here. Don't, don't get too crazy. That is hilarious, though. <laughs> Josh. Okay. Bill H. put $5 in. And you're literally in a casino now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could bet on the horses here if you guys want to want to do that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this this show has devolved to the ultimate lows. <laughs> we are gambling in Sin City. You know, we're, we're here. We got to do it. it. It was so funny. You know, you you called me uh, yesterday asking if I would be on the show, and I was like, No, no, I'll be in Vegas. I can't. And Diane's like, no, 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 you can do it. We got this. We can, we can do it. So here we are. Vegas. Oh, my gosh. A new twist on paragliding. Paragliding and risk-taking. I think that's what uh, this episode should be about. <laughs> risk management. So risk management, I guess you look at the history, and then, you know, you, you try to predict the future. That's you know, what we're going to be doing here towards the end Towards the end of the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right now, it's 65%, 35% red. 65% red. Oh, red. All right. Yep. Red. Remember, so far. I, you know, we, we could throw it on green. If I do zero, double, zero, odds are, you know, hey, that's like a 16 to one instead of just 50-50. So, you know, it's an option. It's an option. <laughs> Oh, that is so funny. And I love how you're just walking around. Your arm's probably going to get tired holding your phone. Yeah, I can switch it up. No worries. You know, I'm used yeah. to paragliding, so I'm used to my arms just being up in the air all the time. That's true. I didn't think about that. We we had a guy in the chat just now mess around, and he wrote $100, but I don't think he understands how the super chat works. So already. <laughs> Already potentially could be putting a hundred dollars in there. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, we got another one. Pete, uh, Pete Yanikave donated ten dollars, and he said, "Go Max!" Explanation point. So we're now up to let's see, sixty, sixty-five, seventy-five. We're up to seventy-five dollars now. Just, just don't put this guy out of, out of not have enough gas money to come back to San Diego. I know, yeah. I do have to run an SIV company, you know, pay insurance and gas bills and storage and stuff like that. So, you know, I mean, somebody really wants to, to wipe me clean, you know, we can throw 10 grand on the table and see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh... how, much, uh, how much risk do you take? You know, it's funny. Um, I feel uh, a lot of times 
I have the same way about gambling as I do about flying, right? You have a uh, risk reward, right? This, this whole uh, kind of thing that we do in um, in risk management is just how how conservative are you? You know, how much money do you have to throw around? How much do you decide to throw it around? And then how much risk do you, do you take? And, yeah. um, you know, in, in flying, we kind of do the same thing, but with uh, with way better risk management. You know, here in Vegas, it's like, best thing you could do would be 50-50. And even, you know, roulette, it's like kind of 50-50, but not really. It's like 48-48. So um, yeah, it, it's it's kind of cool that you can get uh, that comparison there. I'll oh, check this out. Yeah. Oh wow! What are those flowers? It's like jellyfish. Uh, uh, by the way, we got got another contribution. Mortify donated ten dollars. He said, "Pick green, my lord." $10 on green? Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you. There's a certain amount of um, gambling that we're doing with paragliding, obviously, but the odds are much better in our favor when it comes to paragliding when you apply the principles and these things that we're learning from SIV clinics and instruction, even on the ground before you even get in the air. Yeah, that's um, that's a good point. You know, one thing I would say with uh, with that is SIV is is kind of like taking out insurance. You know, so if you are flying in conditions where the the dealer is showing an ace, do you take insurance? You know, of course, it's not a perfect analogy, but I, uh, you know, if uh, if you're the kind of person that would take insurance on on that bet, then uh, maybe an SIV is right up your alley. And I guess in, in the analogy, the ace would be uh, just gnarly conditions or a dumb situation. Sorry, uh, you know, get getting yourself into into trouble in um, you know out there in the wild, and if you don't have insurance. Oh hey, you know you you lose lose the bet, or okay, you just lose half your bet. Half your bet is like you know you you didn't get injured, but you stayed alive. Maybe you just have a you know a little bit of a scare. So um, it update. happened. So Brian uh, Simmons donated ten dollars to the super chat, and Artie did figure out how to do a hundred, so he donated a hundred. Oh my gosh. Created a what monster. are you up to like 185 now? So, so we're up to like yeah. almost 200. All right, cool. Yeah, so it's yeah. uh 50, 60, 65, 75, 85, 95 plus, yeah, plus 100. Oh man, $195 right now. <laughs> you know, it would be really funny is if you ended up doing that. If you ended up doing that, you ended up winning like a million and a half bucks, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if they're going to let you bring the camera over there. Yeah. That's a good question. Um, so if I don't get to uh, a table in time, because I know that the show is like an hour long, I should probably start heading to one. Um, maybe I could ask them, see if, if they'd be okay with it. But yeah, probably not. If it doesn't end up... Uh, happening maybe i'll have cheyenne film from like far away and then put it in at the at the end of the show somehow i don't know okay. yeah that, that is a hiccup i kind of thought about that but thought they would just let it fly hey we'll see <laughs> yeah we'll see yeah vegas is like ah uh, they're all right it's just a candy bar <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty uh, cool the backdrop is so busy there's just non-stop cool stuff going on and you guys are are you you're in a casino now or is this a, a mall? Where are you at? Uh, I, I'm inside the Bellagio, and this is their Christmas display thing going on back here behind me. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. I think this is a this is like a, a cool way to do the show, right? Just walking around. It is. Anthony Peregringo just donated ten dollars, so he's in for ten dollars now too. 
Unbelievable. Nice, nice. <clears throat> Didn't know we had all these gamblers in here. I know, hey, right? Start paragliding, right? It's uh, it's risk taking, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> here we are, <laughs> right up our alley. Yeah. <laughs> I I want to see him win on the first one and then and let him ride. Oh, win on the first one and let it ride. Double down. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about um, what makes a good paraglider pilot. Yeah, you you want to know my opinion? What makes a good paraglider pilot? Yeah, what makes a good paraglider pilot? I'd say your um, most powerful tool is knowledge. I have a list real quick. Sorry, one sec. Ah, a little thirsty. Anyways, um, yeah, knowledge, knowledge is, is your uh, best tool for, you know, being able to to just know what's going to happen, right? Know what to expect, be, being prepared, being ready uh, for, you know, what's what's coming. And and also just, you know, being, being aware of the environment, the conditions that you're flying in, being aware of... Um, what is going to happen next? I, I, I guess is the best thing I would I would say. And uh, if you're if you're aware, if you have your um, you know pregame already planned, you're going to be way more ready for whatever you know the, the sport throws at you for whatever little thing ends up happening. So you know, like, yeah, knowledge and, and knowledge comes from books from watching video from hearing people talk um from uh, first-hand experience and second-hand experience and then i'd also say it comes from muscle memory so yeah we got you, you know we, we learn things right as we go we learn things and uh the person who is better uh equipped you know and more knowledgeable has learned more things is going to have uh, more success ultimately in, in the sport. Hot butter. And probably Steve. a little bit of luck too. A little, little bit of luck on your side is a, it's a good thing. Uh, Hot Buttered Steve Hot Productions Hot donated ten dollars to the super chat. He said, "I'm getting old. Last time I played a slot machine, three prunes came up." <laughs> nice. That's a good. That's a good one. So we're up to uh, two twenty now. Two twenty. All yeah. right, <laughs> it's getting serious, bro. He's getting nervous. <laughs> what time we is still, it? We haven't even hit the halfway show, halfway mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're not even halfway yet, right? Oh man, this is a uh, yes, six twenty four. This is exciting. So, uh, it sounds like Josh Bowden was planning on doing his business party in Vegas, and he said, but they couldn't. the The guys couldn't pawn off their kids, so they. They ended up canceling. So they would have been there with you guys. Would have been cool to, to have them here with us on the show. Right yeah, now, I talked to uh, Cheyenne and, and our friends, so I'm looking around for them. Sorry, oh, you lost them? Yeah, yeah, we're just, you know, looking at the screen, talking, and uh, now they are somewhere here. Oh, no. Anyways. No worries. <laughs> You're gonna have to turn uh, your find my iPhone on. We're watching him in the wild. See how he handles stress, yeah, anxiety, <laughs> and fear. <Yeah. laughs> Out while in you're the wilderness. Around. Why don't we uh, yeah. let's spin the wheel a little early, Sean? While he's looking around for uh, yeah. his crew. That's a great idea, I can't Robert. A third of the people voted for red. You don't vote red; it's black. <laughs> don't go. All right, so it's cool. Here we go. Here we go. I'm, I'm doing this the sherry thing. You ready? Let's do it. We're All spinning right. the wheel of winny things. Uh, I got a whole packet of stuff that I'm going to give away tonight. Uh, so uh, the spin of this wheel, by the way, is brought to you by Nebraska PPG. Josh Bowden runs a school in Nebraska. He has an awesome place for you to train. Nice flat ground, 
wide open space that you can have plenty of place to screw up if you do. And uh, he's got a great uh, head on his shoulders and a, and a history in the sport that's rich. Uh, you're really going to have a great time. If you need to get some training, maybe you want to brush up and get a little better at uh, your mm -hmm. paramotoring game, Nebraska PPG. Yeah, you can reach out to Josh Bowden. Uh, there's a link in the description if you want to get a hold of him. And uh, there's all kinds of um, great reviews from people that have gone through his school. Um, also, uh, the spin of the wheels brought to you by Calamity Kite Clinic. CalamityKiteClinic.com is the website. I can't. I got David Schmaus. <laughs> Love David. David's been on a constant adventure. David, winner, winner, chicken dinner. David, please go to the website. Uh, the, the website is paraglidingtalk.com and then put in forward slash contact. Please put your address in there so I can send you out your prize. Thank you for watching the show and thank you for being a part of paraglidingtalk.com. Max, did you uh did you find her? No, I have been backtracking but not oh. finding her. So I guess I'm heading oh. to uh the casino part of this casino. I'm getting oh out of this uh, you know nativity scene back here. And uh I you know I'll find her later. I'll text her or something, no worries. So Max, I just I just made you let me see here. Uh he just made him host. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally made him host. Oh, there they're right behind you. Uh, there she is. Just pop them. <laughs> There's oh, a way to watching, do this. She was watching live. There you go. <laughs> nice. She was watching live and then found out where you were. Yep. <laughs> oh, that is good, awesome. Good way of tracking someone. But Let what's it be like? Ax Cyber stalking in that in that cyber stalking where they're like looking at the backgrounds, they're like, Oh, he's on third street in, in Canal Road, you know? Yeah, there you go. I'm I'm in the umbrella room of the check in or check in spot at the hotel. <laughs> uh, Las Vegas is great. All right, here's the casino. Hey, um, babe, since you're listening to this, would you mind uh, asking the roulette table if they'll let us do it live would, would that be good for you C could you ask the roulette table if they'll let us do the live spin? they will let us um, you don't think they'll let us so now, right? sure. what's that yeah anyways into the roulette table just don't ask, ask her right. yeah there you go there it is all right you found a roulette table huh Yep. Yeah, we're we're here. Are we doing it? Should we should we do it? Should we wait a little bit? Talk about no. a little longer. Totally up to you. Well, it's we ought to your wait, uh, your um, boots on the ground. I, I guess we'll just go ask. We'll, we'll go ask see if uh, if they'll let us do this. That's going to be the question. <laughs> oh, here, man. I'm gonna so I'm gonna put down uh, the phone for a second. Okay. And, uh, and see what they say. Okay, I'll mention a couple of our sponsors. Uh, one of our sponsors that we have is actually uh, maxacro.com. Uh, he runs an SIV clinic here in Southern California, obviously. Maxacro.com is the, um, it's kind of the, the tell all of what's going to be happening, all the different places that they're going to be traveling. Um, they'll be going around the world uh, during the year. And so there's, there's SIV clinics that are here in Southern California, but then there's also these clinics that they'll be doing in various places, but you can only find that on the website, maxacro.com. So go check those out. Um, also want to mention uh, Lone Star Paramotor. If you're in the Lone Star State, Texas, you can reach out to Ron Turan. He has a whole team of people that will help you to get world-class training. And then if I could also just quickly plug Resurgence PPG, resurgenceppg.com is the website. They're, they're an amazing um, entity in that they're supporting our men and women of uniform by basically giving them um, something to look forward to in flying. So paramotoring, it's uh, it's a fascinating sport. It literally will steal your attention. And uh, it's been helping these guys that have PTSD and getting people out of the funk that happens when you leave the military. So uh, support them. 
resurgencepg.com. They got some great stories. Go check out the website. Talk to Todd Scandrett if you're uh, if you have questions. Maybe you want to make a big contribution. It's a great place. Uh, they're a five hundred one c three. So your donation. Tax but we can't film the tape. Oh, interesting. Okay, guys, I I got a um uh, a response which was we can film me placing the bet, but we can't film the tape. Okay, so they can film you placing the bet, but you can't film the table. So interesting. So I'll just get to make it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we win! <laughs> we win. <laughs> uh, all right, well, that's uh, that's cool. Did she that. actually go up to the table right now and ask the dealer, yeah. or did she talk to somebody else? Yeah, she asked the, uh, the pit boss right behind me there. Wow. Okay. You're right there. You were right there. Oh my gosh. What are we up to? What's the, what's the super chat up to? Uh, it is $220. Two, 220. Nice. Yep. 220. You have regrets? Right, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll keep talking paragliding for another, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes and then uh, get it, get it going. What do you say? Okay. Sounds great, man. You're a brave Go, soul. Pop up that super chat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, that is so awesome. I'm really stoked about your idea of doing a, the scholarship. Where did oh, you come up with that idea? Oh, that was uh, my wife's idea, really. She, uh, the Young Gun Scholarship. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she, it was something uh, that she wanted to to do and support the community and figure, you know, what what can we do to to give back. You know, I, I remember how fortunate I was uh, to be young and support, and I couldn't have done that without uh, some support, you know, from from my uh, family, from my father, from my instructors. And yeah. uh, and so, you know, I just wanted to throw that out there for, uh, you know, whoever would want it, right? And so we, we got a list of candidates. We had uh, six people uh, register, register for it this year. And, uh, you know, we narrowed down that selection, have one, so we'll announce that winner pretty soon here on uh, on the first. Of so the year. how can how can someone get nominated? Uh, it's just you you submit a, a letter yourself. So you can um, basically fill out an application on my website macbacker.com. And it's the uh, the Young Guns Scholarship. We'll do another one next year. And yeah, we'll we'll, we'll do it again next year. Right so I, if anybody wants to apply for next year, you can already start to uh, fill out that application and you know apply for the scholarship. That's awesome. The training will happen in to at Tory Pines. Uh, the training is going to be uh, for professionals, uh, you know, people that want to to become instructors or, or oh. you know really further themselves in acro. Uh, it. So it's mostly going to be SIV and uh, and instructor or tandem points. Got it. Okay, that is amazing. I'm I'm. Yeah. I'm stoked for you guys and your new endeavors, this, the school and, and everything that's happening. Um, I just have a really good feeling that it's going to go well. Well, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm stoked. You know, this, uh, this school has uh, really started taking off. You know, we have uh, quite a few students interested and I've been teaching at, uh, at Little Black mostly, you know, getting, getting guys out there, hiking the trail, uh, going up to launch and, you know, it's it's a very fun place to, to teach um, because it's a little more like challenging than, than Tori was. You know, for, for me, teaching at Tori had become a little more uh, repetitive, or, you know, uh, just not as fun as, as teaching at, uh, at the mountains. All right. Okay. All right. We're doing this. What is our it has has anybody else donated in the last few minutes to the chat? Nope. That's it. I think they're all tapped yeah. out. All right. All right. I'm offering up two twenty here. Oh my <laughs> gosh, she's doing it. Put that in there and then I'll just turn you. All right, there you go. So yep, seventy percent said red, thirty percent said black. Okay, right. so it's red? Yep, it is yeah. red. I'm gonna all end right. the poll. We'll seal that deal. Okay. The history is looking pretty good on this. Side. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, you you're supposed to walk up, and then when you think the pattern's going to change, you increase your odds by changing the color of the last 
three numbers or last three rolls. Listen Just to saying. this guy. You're like a professional uh, gambler over there, Gringo. <laughs> it's, all, it's all it's all luck. It's all luck. Gringo's literally on the beach in games. Mexico, like living off of his winnings in life. Yeah. So we're pretty excited about uh, the uh, the this upcoming year with some paramotoring adventure stuff. There's uh, we got the salt and sea flying, and then we also have the uh, flying circus. So we're likely going to uh, we're likely going to have some kind of um, shows on that. Let me know if there's somebody that you'd really like to see on the show about uh, about those things. I mean, obviously, it would be cool to have the uh the founder of the flying circus and uh he's been on the show also mo sheldon uh maybe we can have him on again we'll s let me know was that our spin yeah are you filming right now yep here turn yeah. around are oh, you filming me all right cool That's the way you know all on red give the play button all for paragliding here we go he did it paragliding <laughs> looking for oh, red and there is 34 red. 34 red. Yeah, See, you nice. won, guys. I nice. called it. See, I called it, man. I told Good you. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. <laughs> I called it. I said you was going to win on it. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Nice work. Yeah. Let it ride. Let it ride. Let yeah. it ride. Let it ride. <laughs> Oh, that's so awesome. Take your money and run out of there. Yeah. Run for the hills. <laughs> Come straight to run. San Diego. <laughs> wow, everybody's cheering in the chat right now. <laughs> Craig Couch, woohoo, Wardified. Wow, explanation point. Rip Man said yes with 10 explanation points. Mom gave the confetti. Yeah, that's awesome. 50 50 shot. Or well, actually not 49. Yeah. I'm like the, the green. That is chips. Look at One, that. two, three, four, 25, money. 30, money. 30, money play. 40. There you go. Look at that, man. That is Congrats. awesome. Congrats, buddy. Winner, winner, yeah. chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. Uh, good times. All right, so now let's go through it all on green. What do you say? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is so fun. You guys are awesome, man. Incredible. Uh, what, uh, what casino are you guys at? Can you... Uh, where are we? We are at the Bellagio. Oh, okay. Bellagio. You guys just went yeah. in the Bellagio. And yeah. Pennies to them. Right. Pennies to them. Yeah, should we they're... go cash in or should we go out to the fountain? Okay. For the... okay. Oh, you go yeah, cash, cash it in and run for the hills. She's off to cash it. Yeah, yeah. Smart. <laughs> cash to the hills. Oh. Let's head out to the fountain. That's awesome. I can't stand gambling. It drives me nuts. I'm I'm like the ultra conservative when it comes to money. When I turned 18, we went to the casino and I I had a $20 bill that my dad gave me to bet with and I won right away. I had 40 bucks and I'm like, "Yep, I'm out of here." And that was the only money I ever won at casino and the, the last time I ever gambled. So I I won, I'm up and I won't go back. <laughs> Still ahead. Still ahead. Yep. That's awesome. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Hey, you're still yeah. ahead uh, in paragliding too, right? No, uh, no That's nothing, right. no injuries. You know, maybe a couple scares, but yeah, hey, you're still still ahead in paragliding. It's a much safer bet than uh, in red. Like, yeah, you there you go. <laughs> for, for whatever it is, four twenty. They cashed that that fast. Good job, you, guys. That happened really quickly. She just went to the counter, threw those on the counter, they gave her cash. Yep. Wow. There it is. Just yeah. like that. Vegas, baby. Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> I mean, that, that is terrifying. That that was terrifying. You, know, you, should, you should try speed flying. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. You know, speaking of, I, I sent you a, a small video link on for your Instagram. And I guess there is, it's a comparison of two new uh, gliders. One of them is the Mustache. It's a 13 meter. And the other one is, is the Line 13. You want to go to the front. And they go hands up at the same time, same toe. And uh, the Line just falls out of the sky, hands up. It is insane. Do you have any um, information about the, the uh, 13 meter Line? No, no, I haven't heard of it. You, you said you texted me a video of it. Yeah, I sent it to uh, Max Acro Paragliding on pair on uh, Instagram. When recently, I've I've been kind of out of town for a few days, not really checking my phone. Yeah, so. no, that's okay. I just sent it. Um, let's see, it was like, uh, just before the show started. Oh, okay. No, I There's I'll a... have to check it out. That sounds yeah, that sounds cool, man. Sounds yeah, cool. I'll try to. Let me see. I'll I'll try to share. Um, let me see. I I can probably screen share, and uh, but it's just interesting. Do you do you have any thoughts on uh, these new, um, like the mustache or the mullet or the line? These uh, kind of pushing the limits of uh, paragliding. Any comments on those new wings? Um, well, I can say this, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting that you bring it up. Cause I had a conversation with, uh, uh, Johannes, uh, the owner of Air G, the, uh, you know, acro airline company anyways. Right. Uh, you know, he was talking about, uh, wings and, and test pilots and how there are test pilots that are just phenomenal, you know, crazy, intense, good pilots, and they will make these wings. And as a company owner, he has to decide if that's something that he can safely market and sell because, they, you know, Joe doesn't want to sell something that's going to hurt people. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, this test pilot that's out there flying every day, uh, you know, really into it and making his own prototypes, um, you know, that, that's, that's the pilot that can fly that way. And so I guess with um, with those style of wings, you, you just have to ask yourself, you know, look, look at it from the design perspective, from the, the side of I am making this wing for this uh, reason. And just ask yourself if you're if you're there. Right. When you're a, when you're a beginner, you fly an A wing or, you know, a low B, something that's super simple, safe, easy, you know, going to going to be easy for you. Um, and we kind of go through this progression, but we have to make sure that we're progressing smart and safe. You know, it's, it's good to push, you know, we'll, we'll gain experience and, and knowledge from pushing ourselves, but we have to push in a, in a safe enough way. And so it's a very individual, uh, personal question of whether or not a certain wing is, is really for you. Have you had much experience of uh, flying any of these new wings? I don't, I don't know what to call them. They're like full range motion wings. Uh, you know, honestly, I've only flown the, uh, the mustache 18 and uh, it was trying to, I was trying to soar the whole time. So it didn't work out that great because, um, you know, I was, I was just holding brakes. Right. And so when you're holding brakes, you're, you're essentially just back to, paragliding like normal uh, yeah, yeah. you know and it was great to be able to have that full range of motion i did like some loops and stuff on on it and um got to test it out but i've only flown the mustache 18 once and i haven't flown any of the other uh integrated risers but one thing that i do really love doing is flying my uh two-liner i have a, a boomerang 11 and uh and flying with the speed bar and the rear riser, which is essentially the same concept in a way uh, you're just, you know, using your, your feet into it. Uh, so, you know, the, the difference there is just that having it in your hands gives you this really big uh, range and, and ability to, to change quickly. So, yeah, it's a, it's a very cool concept. And um, I'd honestly, uh, you know, thought about this idea, uh, you know, as like a long time ago. Um, not, not to say like I was going to invent 
the whole thing. But I just that I, I, you know, I had this dream of some way being able to like, you know, manipulate your speed system and your brakes at the same time. My thought was to have some big like lever that you could use with your hand, you know, something that you would um, actuate like as a, a big bar sticking out. But anyways, uh, yeah, I, I really like those, um, like that concept and uh, it definitely has a, has a place. Anyway. I like the, uh, I like the, the, the kind of new fresh hype with the, what the, the mustache brought first and that kind of led to all the other manufacturers coming out with something. Have you heard any inklings of what ozone is going to put out? No, no, I have I haven't heard anything from my uh, ozone. Um, I, uh, hey, I I haven't really been looking into the to the new technology stuff that much. Honestly. My uh, my focus has been acro, uh, and I just recently got a Carlito seventeen, and I have yet to fly it. So oh, I'm, wow. I'm looking forward to getting on that uh, that new seventeen. It's got custom logos on it and everything. Um, just haven't had the chance yet. So as soon as a good Saboba day pops up, I'm there. I'm gonna be there. Uh, I'm gonna try to be there a lot this uh, next month in January. Um, nice. And hopefully get some some good days out to fly that thing. Oh, that's rad. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're at the uh, you're out by the water at the Bellagio. Yep. Yeah, out by the fountains. Where are you guys staying at? All right. So many people, man! Wow. Oh no! Wait, wait, go back to that one. Go Don't back do to it. That one. It's Don't like go New York streets. Oh my that, gosh! That's the guy I meant. What is? Oh my gosh, that's that is not acceptable. <laughs> yep. Wow. In round Vegas, you know, good time. Good time. Sin that City, is crazy. <laughs> How is that okay? Well, it's Vegas, I guess. Yep. So this uh, this water show, you guys are all these people are waiting for it to start up and then how long does it uh how long does it take before they start the show oh no thanks <laughs> i got i got kidnapped here you want to say hi no, no i can't guys it's a it's a show i want sorry have a good night oh my god <laughs> demonetized immediately he almost got accosted <laughs> Where's Cheyenne? Uh, I guess, yeah, you, you, you see that? Or, uh, you can't say, All right, don't, don't tell her. It never happened. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see, we're almost like dead center of the of the Bellagio here. How's that? There you go. There you go. I guess um, you're going to have to let the show go a little bit long if you want to catch this water show, you know, thing as the final, because I think it happens um, on the hour, right? Oh, okay. Interesting. That was the most terrifying thing, thing that's happened on the show yet. What, being uh, accosted Almost. by two women uh, dressed in Brazilian <laughs> bikini outfits? Yeah. that was. I don't think that one's happened on Paragliding Talk yet. You guys are wearing, <laughs> like, sweaters. Is it cold over there? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's kind of like San Diego weather. It's, like, a little bit cold, not, not really. Enough that I'm wearing a, a hoodie. Yeah, exactly. But, and they're you know, walking also around. Also wearing like, wearing flip flops too. So yeah, and those girls are walking around half naked. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's um, it's not that cold right now, but you know, it's getting there. It's it's cooling down. Wow. Uh, let's talk a little bit quickly about uh, your the that um, time leading up to your wanting to break the world record for infinite tumble for those that haven't heard the story. So Max held the world record for infinite tumble for a, a little while uh, before somebody else ended up breaking it. 
uh, talk a little bit about the lead up to that and how that came together. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know, I started uh, tumbling when I was 15 and, you know, my, my first tumble entries were actually coached with, uh, with my instructor, Gabe Jeb and uh, actually Enlo. And uh, Enlo and Gabe had me up. I was on a, you know, a high loaded uh, low B doing, you know, and I had gotten pretty far at that point. I'd progressed pretty good. So I was doing big wing overs and transitions and looping. Uh, so I threw my first tumble entry at, at you know, in 2003. And it was so, like, just phenomenally exciting. It's the best thing I'd ever experienced. And so I just, this pursuit of wanting to do that. And this is before um, the infinite tumble was, was a thing. You know, infinite tumble, it came in uh, 2007. So this is pre-infinite uh, tumble. And I... Uh, you know, I, I progressed over the years, uh, getting on to wings that that just wouldn't do it. You know, there there were wings that it just wasn't possible in, and, and it's a special change in the design of the wings that allowed it to be uh, possible today. So um, I had a lot of failure. I, I basically was beating my head against the wall, just trying to tumble and, and tumble, you know, as many times as I could in a row. And so... Um, yeah, it ended up with lots of, you know, cascading events, falling through the line, hitting the material. Um, anyway, just, just blowing it left and right. And I blew it left and right for uh, years until I got on a, a 2K10 thriller, a 2K11 thriller. Anyways, uh, 2011 was when I was able to finally, you know, get it because I was, you know, I finally got on a wing that could do it. And I, uh, and after I figured that out, it was all I wanted to do. I just wanted to keep on tumbling. So once I had figured out it, the tumbles, I was already just trying to, to tumble over and over and over again. Uh, you know, the, the whole, you know, progression was just uh, fraught with frustration. And, uh, and anyways, I don't know when was, that would do it. And then I got offered the, uh, the chance to go up in a helicopter and try it. And so there was nothing more to it than I really enjoyed doing it. And then somebody just offered to take me up to as high as, as I could do it from, which was uh, 16,000 feet. And by the way, that was um, that was corporate helicopters of San Diego. The owner came out to the glider port, talked with my father for a little bit. And, uh, and you know, he basically offered, yeah, I'll take you up as high as you can and you can jump out and, and go for it. And, you know, so so I did. And it and it worked. Wow. It was um, it was pretty intense. You know the uh, the uh, you know the the person that took me up in the helicopter that helped me with the deployment was actually Jeremy Bishop, who uh, who owns uh, Saboba Flight Park. And so oh, wow. uh, Jeremy and I went up in in this helicopter, and uh, you know he just helped with the deployment and then filmed. And uh, and anyways, uh, it was ten minutes consecutive. From you know, about sixteen thousand feet is, is where I jumped. Probably started tumbling about fifteen thousand, and then I had to stop at about uh, maybe three grand, twenty five hundred to three thousand, because I had drifted out. You no, know, it, it was that Tory, so I was uh, pretty far out, out over the ocean. So it shut it shut it down around you know three grand, twenty five hundred. And Anyways, did you um, oh, yeah, did you have ahead. a boat in the water? Was there a boat in the water? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, the way that I, I did it was I just called the, the lifeguards, uh, San Diego lifeguards, and told them what I was doing and said, hey, uh, you know, keep an eye out for me. And they're already stationed there. They're already out in, uh, you know, in that area with their boats and jet skis and stuff. So, yeah, they, they watched. And, yeah, I, I ended up landing uh, on the beach, actually, under Tory because I came back with uh, – I don't know, like an extra little bit of altitude to spare. I probably had like, you know, like 600 feet to burn up. And so I did just like a couple more just to like finish it off as I was coming in. And I uh, misjudged it and missed the top landing by probably like 15 feet. Like, oh, like no. 15 feet too low gliding back in. There was no wind. So I was just going to land going like straight in towards the cliff. And, uh, you know, missed it, missed it by like, yeah, just, just a little bit. And I uh, ended up playing on the beach after that. 
And so the wow. end of the video is like I land on Black Beach and there's naked people. Yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it looks like uh, Josh Bowden is going to um, spin the wheel. He's going to give away a prop. Yep. A paramotor prop. So um, Nebraska Paramotor. Josh is the one that runs the school there in Nebraska. So N Nebraska PPG. So um, Sean, go ahead and um, dial that up. Well, if you still got the names and everything is ready to run. Oh, I still got them. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We do it now. Yep. So just, uh, just to show that Josh is a baller. He was the one that donated $50 to get you to spin the wheel too. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Hey, we spun the wheel in Vegas tonight. So that's yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right. Oh, I got it ready. All right. uh, Here's the wheel of winning things. Now, I took our previous winter out, so there wouldn't be a conflict of interest, you know, where people think this oh. is rigged or something. So, oh, David. Yeah, he David doesn't I want mean, a prop. Anyways, he's a free flag hey, guy. He's yeah, a well, I got to make it fair, Robert. You know, yep. I got to make it fair for everybody. Yeah, that is pretty amazing. Paraglidingtalk.com. Yeah, if you if you get a chance, uh, talk to Josh Bowden. Maybe you're one of those guys that's you're interested in trying to to uh, up your game. You want to get better equipment. You want to be a better uh, pilot. He's he's one of the guys that I talked to in the very beginning. Where I'm like, man, I'm trying to get a paramotor. I want to make the right decision. Help me to you know point me in the right direction. He did all the footwork, and uh, I just pretty much had asked him a million questions, and it's such rigged. a great resource. Oh, that does it. This thing is real. No, no, no way. <laughs> does it say it's too blurry? Look at that. Oh, oh. Robert yep, Michaels. It's you. Yes. He does it. Yeah. Congratulations. Wow. It's awesome. You've got man. a spare for when you break this one. He, yeah. he knows me too he well. There's no way, dude. I can't, I can't write, I can't justifiably take that. There's no way. Spin it again. I agree. Spin it again. I, uh, okay, you want me to remove the name too? No, 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 Robert, isn't it like the first time that you've ever won something on your own show? Yeah. Oh, no. I think I've won before. He's won, he's won before. Sean puts my name in there. I, I yeah. put everybody's name in there. I, so, I can't take it. Spin it again. I, okay. I would feel horrible. Okay, I'll take I, your I name out too because I took the last guy's name out too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I'll right. make it even. And we're, we're we're raising the odds, folks. Yeah, your odds are your your odds just got a little better. Not, not necessarily because it's spinning just as fast. Now, if Linda Anderson wins, and, oh, and she yeah. wants to give it to me, that's a little different. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane, dude. What are the chances? The odds. Uh, what I are think the, the odds? chances are like 30 to 1. Yeah. <laughs> Better than roulette, right? Yeah. That's, uh, wow. Well, it's not quite yep, as good Nebraska as, uh, PPG. Oh. Come on, Anthony. Anthony. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. Watch it land on Nebraska. Oh. Who wins oh, his own? Oh, no. that's a good oh, one. Oh, maybe. What? Oh. Oh. Nail biter. Close. To, mm, oh. Mm. Oh. Mm -mm. oh. Congratulations. Oh, mm -mm. Wow. So, Josh, I'm not sure how we want to do this, but let's have mm -mm reach out to you. Um, and uh, I guess through Facebook is probably the best way to get a hold of you. Not sure. Um. Or you can go through paraglidingtalk.com and contact and then just uh, put your phone number in there. I'll call you or whatever, however you want to make that work. We're going to go to the after show. Enough of Sin City. Thank you so Aww, much. It's been fun though, hasn't it? It is, it's been a wild roller coaster. I, I'm so thankful that you came on. Thank you for taking the time to, uh, to interrupt your adventure in Vegas and, and hang out, uh, especially Cheyenne. Tell her. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you guys and your friendship. And over the years, you guys are awesome. And I'm super stoked about the school and the future of what you guys are bringing to the para paragliding community. Hey, Robert. Yeah. I appreciate you too, man. Thanks for having me on the show. I, it's been fun. It's been a lot yeah. of fun. I think this, this is one of my favorite uh, episodes that we've done yet.
Yeah, it for sure <laughs> is. It is a one of the top ten for sure. Incredible <laughs> live roulette table, and we win. <laughs> hey, got I uh, I guess two hundred and twenty dollars, well four hundred and forty dollars. So I'll Venmo you. Okay. Yeah, that's so awesome, man! <laughs> Insane, dude! Insane. Well, you guys are awesome. We're gonna go to the after show. Thanks for watching. ParaglidingTalk.com. If I don't see you on there, I'll see you in there. Have a great night. Well, Thanks for watching. Oh, there it goes. Right on time. Oh. Boom. Here we go. Hold on. We knew it was coming. Nice finish. There we go. Yeah, this this is mind-boggling to me. The the amount of engineering that went into this this uh, water feature. When I was um, I was the chief engineer of the uh, the Electra and uh, Pacific Gate, and these are two high-profile high buildings. They're they're both uh, around that 450 feet tall and uh, 233 condos in one, 244 condos in the other, and just incredible amount of things that have to happen to make the building run. I can't imagine what has to happen for the pumps and the just the electricity it takes to move that much water and all the lights and all this super cool. But uh yeah, we won't uh we won't hold you guys hostage. Thank you so much again for coming on the show. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a great night everybody.